you I need a hit to take it far, make moves Has somebody trying to take it down, place for You just score my special bar all right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watch list coming into February 5th, 2020, and there's two things that can make this stock market go crazy from here. Quite simply, it is going to be oil and its relation to China, and I'm going to show you guys a few charts. I have some stuff outlined, some big yearly correlations and divergences that you guys could look for, and then the next thing is going to be the Iowa caucus stuff. You're probably hearing about it right now. There's a little bit of updates. It's like half the poll results, but this has some effect on the markets now there is also the coronavirus but as we've talked about now we could start to see the impact of the coronavirus simply through is the economy at a standstill or not and that's why oil is going to be very important here so i want to go over really what to look forward here riding this wave we broke out today we had a huge gap up and we were still at that wuhan zone still right there we came up a little bit but it's still showing that we have the concern china has deployed more stimulus and right now even or even by the time you watch this video, China futures have been banned for this week. So they're not doing that again. They've halted borrowing, which means they're not allowed to short. They threw more liquidity. All of that happened today. Markets liked it. China went up. But it's simply saying, how do we move forward here? So there's pretty much two scenarios in two cases that I'm going to go over. So I have that. I have earnings plays for you that we need to go over. We saw Snapchat report. You guys also got to see Disney. And then we have to talk a little bit about Tesla. Shout out Andrew Moon, baby, the cult. I'm going to get him on a video to explain, but he made $300,000 on some call options. So a little bit of the power of options, baby. Let's go. So we got that. We got the keys and some other plays we're going to be looking at but yes let's get into it but before we do that make sure you drop your thumbs up on the video make sure you subscribe and if you don't know we are live monday through friday 30 minutes before open it's the first link in the description and it's pinned in the comments go it's free 99 it costs you nothing all it costs is being positive respectful and liking the video drive in determination sold separately options trading your risk can't lose all the money financial and blue soul financial rise educational purpose only thank you so we better see you there we're doing all of this stuff live it's important and also do not forget to check Check out all of the tutorials on this channel. We have over a thousand videos, everything from how to trade options, find thousand percent gainers, understanding spreads, credit spreads, iron condors, hustling the market makers and algorithms and understanding how that works. Even VWAP technicals, reading financial statements. I mean, there's a lot just so please don't. They go hand in hand, but let us not waste any more time right off the bat. Here are your keys and here is what we need to explain. Quite simply, Iowa, I'm going to start with there because it's going to be kind of the most straightforward one. The Iowa impact comes from the shift in who could actually win now and what's going to happen but Buttig Buttigieg I don't know how to say his name they're saying he's winning now but Bernie Sanders won the popular vote with it but again what does this even mean if you're not really familiar with politics or how could this impact the market all this Iowa caucus it's just important because if people like Bernie or Elizabeth Warren or people who weren't really expected to win do good and it shows that their poll numbers are increasing it gives them a boost coming into this final stretch of the election which believe it or not it's, it's going to be approaching here shortly so it's just like like going off of the stats it just makes them look you know more in contention with the race but and usually whoever has momentum from here they're they're able to go but at the end of the day some of the candidates who are really surprising if they don't get this boost it, it, it kind of hurts them in a way but now for us and even again this can make the markets respond because if certain people do win like bernie sanders like we discussed he could have impacts on health care and stocks and certain things with again how they feel about taxes and all that and then if the polls are saying people think they're going to win again even people thought the market was going to cra crash with trump and he dropped the futures when he got elected so it's still the early stages uh but again i'm, I'm sure the election is going to come up later this year but watch what happens there again any surprises or, or or an impact that shoots off with this could be important but again the next thing here now is going to be oil and that is oil staying below 50 dollars, and now more further divergence with china so this is what i wanted to show you guys and this is what is is going to be really important moving forward here just even with the market again is this a dead cat, cat bail what's going to happen with china again we've talked about about riding the waves and you know certain dates again February 10th or even after the first week or two of what they're doing here I want to analyze what's really happening but one thing here that I'm going to show you can really determine all of that and it's how the Chinese stocks are valued but then also with what we see with oil but this is the divergence I'm talking about and looking for so the this one right here is the China a shares, which is pretty much the Shanghai composite overlay with the SPY. But you'll notice this was that big China crash, which again, this is one of the biggest drops that we saw here was the biggest drop since this happened. But their stock market burst again. You see how the markets aligned with it. The SPY goes up, A shares goes up. 
then this is the first divergence 2018 2019 what starts to happen shanghai starts dropping and plummeting again the shanghai composite plummets and then you see even though our stocks diverge it comes down so that could be a longer divergence and it took time but then we're kind of seeing the same thing here even on the shorter scale now this is what i'm talking about you see our stocks are bouncing up and so did china but what we need to see is how long does it take for there to be a divergence. But that's one thing to look at. But more importantly now is oil. This is it looks almost exactly the same. But you saw the impact first between oil in China versus China in the S&P. So this is why oil is going to be very, very important from here. And that's oil right now at 49.50. But you'll notice anytime China's stocks start to drop again, as the Chinese economy was roaring and then dropping here, you start to see what happens with oil. But again, as China slowly starts going up and doing good, what do you notice? You see the same climb with oil. It's more correlated between oil and China than the spyware is a lot bigger. But then again, China starts to drop. Oil did do good for a little bit and there was a divergence. So that again, 2018 was pretty uh, unique there but you see it come hard but it comes down again does the same thing but now you're seeing it come down harder and that's because you're seeing China come down harder more so this is what I'm going to be looking for because if the demand for oil keeps dropping and we see this pretty much I want to see how long it's going to take for this divergence to get bigger if it gets bigger that's going to set us up for a big move down this is what you want to see is where they diverge but again now what could also happen this everything's kind of moving the same even though they're diverged now what we're waiting for is one index or one commodity to move faster than the other because if they go up and then one goes up and then one goes down the other one goes down it's not gonna create that divergence but that is what i'm watching for and like we said china doesn't do good it lowers the demand for oil that brings it down but all of this is connected so watch that and that's what i'm looking for especially i just want to see what happens with the shanghai composite when does the support not help it go up or now do we see the s p outpace the shanghai composite and that that would mean there would probably be an event that would take longer than that 10 day window or 14 day window which definitely could happen here so if the market gets support with china even after that 10 to 14 days that's why i said that's the day we have to analyze it so that's what i'm going to be watching out for here moving forward and those are the main things that i think are going to move everything and then finally earnings are still going to be in play but this week is soft like we said this isn't going to be as large of a week but next week is going to be big so get ready there's going to be a lot of companies however earnings has still showed pretty strong so far in the midst of everything there is some importance. It's creating divergences. And again, watch what that's doing to option premiums. It's making this a very interesting time in the sense that some options are going to be overpriced and some are going to be extremely cheap because of what is happening with this volatility mixed with the earnings premium. But again, with what we're saying, with what we're talking about here, you know, get ready for gaps or a quick return to stability. And what I mean by gaps is you could even see it here, you know, in August. It's where we start to get volatility. The market wants, you know, has every reason to bounce up and, and repos and all that. There's a support from the China, but every time an event hits, it starts to bounce up and down, up and down versus kind of you hit a drop and then this quick return to stability or even something like that. So what's going to happen here? It all is going to depend on how the news develops. So that's why if something happens with Iowa or random news or Iran, it could make us drop and then we pop again and then China starts doing good, but then random news hit, it'll look more like this. So this is what we are looking for to see how the market moves forward from here. But that is pretty much your key. So let us get into the plays. <laughs> oh, right off the bat, there is Tesla. That was amazing i didn't get to play but i will say this if you even have debit spreads even on the put side they might show that you're a loss i remember i had an old one i looked at my portfolio and i was like whoa it says i'm down on it that's because the volatility is going to be crazy. So one of them might catch a bid or have a different midpoint than the, the one that you sold might be different than the one that you bought. So be careful. Don't trip out about that. But one thing people even saw today, uh, 11 had 11 collar even said it. Tesla puts went up in value, even though the stock went up. And that is because there's insurance. So again, this is what I'm saying with earnings and option prices, but specifically now with Tesla with this big run up. This is uh, it, it's going to be a play. I mean, there's going to be opportunities for premiums. I'm sure with how much it's moving, no one's really expecting what to do here. So there's going to be opportunity. There's going to be risk. That is up to you. I've been sitting out this whole time. Tesla is just a little out of my league there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll throw a YOLO Thursday, Friday. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I will keep an eye out for it, but congrats to everybody who played it. Shout out to Elon, baby. I oh, just, I love the story, but other plays we made today. I grabbed one of these. I wanted to scale in they had news with like a new segment in online gaming. So again, I've been getting ready for earnings on this. We're down on those plays. They were down like 60%. They closed like only like down like 15 or 20% now, which wasn't too bad. But then I got another set of these. I got NVIDIA 290 calls for February 14th. And I got one of them at 32 cents. They're going for like 34 to 37 now, bid and ask. 
But I like that I'm scaling in again on the average because those went down, but they're still holding the value, like I've been saying. So watch NVIDIA, they're going to be important. Then we did a Disney play. I got more puts on it and then a call. We put like 150 on puts and then 50 on a call. So we're probably going to lose 200 because Iron Condor season, as you can see. And then even the Google play today. Oh, and then I did grab a snap. Uh, I did a $30 snap call YOLO and we grabbed 50 more shares before earnings. So I am going to look to pick up a lot more shares tomorrow on Snap. I'm excited about that. But then this play today too, this went crazy. Uh, eBay, there was reports that ICE wanted to take them over. And then there was a secondary report saying that they were worth like $48 a share. But it looks like there was a rumor with the eBay takeover. So we got two plays. I was so mad. We missed. There was a great opportunity to snake the chain on there. But I, I hesitated. I lagged on it. I didn't. My browser refreshed. It, it was a mess. But they were, they went like two cents to a dollar. But the plays we did end up walking away with, they did pretty good. We got the 40 and 41s. Uh, I grabbed one of the 40s at 50 cents. And then I grabbed one of the 41s. I grabbed two of the 41s at 40 cents each. So again, big spread and be careful. A lot of people got caught chasing on these. They went up a lot. You could have ghetto spreaded them early, but they have time. It's a buyout offer. And again, if it is anywhere near 48, that would be, you know, $8 a share. We have like three contracts. That would, that, would, that would be pretty nice. But keep an eye out for that one. That could be good. Again, rumors and stuff like that's interesting. You'll watch how the stock moves tomorrow. The more moves and holds up, the stronger that rumor is going to be. And then again, if it keeps moving up too fast, you'll hear stuff. So we could even look at some filings to see if there's anything that could give us an indication of that. But watch all those. I'm going to be watching all these earnings for continuation. If you don't know what continuation means, pretty much whichever direction it's moved from earnings, it is going to continue and have the re continued reaction from earnings come into the first available trading day that is what i'm watching for so all of these stocks are going to be there then watch unh i still want to make a play on this again i think this was kind of a gift for us you have the whole iowa thing and then bernie you know he, he won the popular vote but healthcare is still it's, it's sticking out to me again UNH does this a lot. Even on the upside, it could be great as too, but I'm going to be watching on that. See what we could do with that. And again, even I guess for another healthcare, watch Biogen. People have talked about this and they're at an interesting point because last time they moved up a lot with their drug that wasn't expected to happen. I mean, they, they've had a very interesting, very interesting history. Even look at the 10-year chart, you know, they've went up so much, but they're at like, you know, if they do good and they'll pop up, they'll be at one level of equilibrium they've been at. If they do bad, they're going to hop back down. I like the 263 or even that 230 point, but they're interesting. They got their earnings and I believe it has info on that drug report so keep an eye out for that then CMG that's going to be one for earnings continuation uh, again an iron condor surprisingly would have been good on there so any of these stocks I mean we should have took advantage with a lot of these moves uh with what we saw today it was just like the Google when these stocks gap up you know even though that it barely moved here you know it's up ten dollars from where it closed probably a little less it says it's up 31 percent 31 dollars today and that is because it had such a move during the market in general so watch out for them watch out for Spotify in the morning they were Report. We have shares of them. That could either be a good time to even add shares uh, or even hold on to them. But they are again an IPO from a few years back, and they're at a, at a very very crucial level. I mean, if they do good, they could change. The same thing we were looking for with Snapchat. And Snapchat did uh, do some stuff I like. I'm gonna have to go over some of that with you, and then watch Google. The plays only went up 150 bucks each, which wasn't too bad, but. It's still in our range, and the reason is it's just very early in the week. It's still Tuesday. So that makes sense, probably why we got such a good range on it uh, when we first did the play. But I'm still holding those. I'm going to look to take 30 to 40% profit. I am going to be more quick to sell out the weekly one because as we get closer to expiration, we need it to stay in the range. So that's what's going to happen as it's here. If it stays in this range and more days tick off, you're going to start seeing that those iron condors go up. But if it falls out the range and it's a weekly, you could quickly lose. So that's why I'm going to be more flexible with the February 14th one and hold the February 7th. Then watch HD and McDonald's. HD made the bounce I was looking for. McDonald's went down today. You know, kind of showing a little bit of that divergence. So see what happens here. We might get an, uh, I mean, I think they might be a good strangle to play McDonald's both ways. They're back at a key level. The market goes up higher here. They might catch up with the market and go, or if they inverse, they'll start dropping again. Or if the market comes down, they'll break out. So I like this one a lot. And then finally, watch Apple and Microsoft, the two leaders, but two biggest, you know, big market cap leaders. But take a look, you know, Apple's been moving like $10 a day. And it's kind of crazy to think about, you know, even today they were up nine, 10 bucks. So this could create an opportunity again. I think as the, this week starts to come down, some of the weeklies will be good, but 
even maybe getting sometimes again or even strangles or straddles but because you're pretty much at the same price now but these all these moves really got to kill premium in a way so i'm going to be keeping my eye out for those again even microsoft too even as microsoft now is even breaking out literally right before our eyes it's even doing a, a rotation event there so keep your eye on that and that is your watch list ladies and gentlemen make sure you're hydrated healthy ready to go make sure you post your watch list make sure we see you there in the morning make sure you're studying up on the videos baby you gotta have the endurance endurance is correlated to opportunity opportunity the longer you endure the more opportunity you will have keep your head in the game control the balances and we talked to richest man of babylon today baby if you see a bargain take it you got to scale in put a deposit don't put all of it you're probably losing on all these all earnings plays because you're not balancing the books and putting a deposit you're putting the whole damn pie slow it down go with your gut go with your instinct don't get talked out of good ideas easy and don't be stubborn with bad ideas baby it's the cult it's game time i'm gonna see you in the morning baby let's go <laughs> Ha 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 ha!